enough of theory now let's do one end to end exercise on the authority check in cds to learn the power of authority check or the access control or the security in cds we'll first create a cds view we'll make it simple a simple cds view then we will add the annotation that is pound check after that we will create the dcl or the access control for the corresponding cds then we will go to transaction su21 and create our authorization class objects and fields in real project this is the duty of the sap security team but in this training i will show you how you can do it yourself after we create the authorization class objects and fields we need to handle the authorization using the key for keyword aspect pfcg underscore auth okay so this is the keyword which will help us to uh, manipulate or play around with the sap security then we will go to transaction pfcg and create a new role for ourselves again this is the activity of the sap security team or the admin team abappers or the functionals need not worry about it but in this training i'm showing you what happens behind the scene so you know end to end after that what we'll do is we'll add the profile and then decide what field will have what values so that's how we control it so you might not understand it now but as i show you with this hands on exercise it will be more clear and then once you create the role and decide the profiles you need to generate the profile and grant the role or give access finally you are done with the cds view you have your um, dcl or the data control language object created you have the authorization class and objects ready you have created the pfcg role and added and then generated the profile and granted the role now it's time to test so we will see how we can test it with multiple users some having the access and some not having the access so when we see live you will have more clarity let us go into the um, abab development tool and do all these activities one by one